Okay, guys, so um, today um, I'm filming the collection of my my new car, the, the Veyron replacement that has been eagerly awaited now for quite some time. It's been over 12 months since I sold the Bugatti. Um, now, I know why a lot of you are thinking, Carl, why have you bought a, uh, a new car when you don't have a driving license yet? That's a very good point. Um, but I've been after this specific model for a very long time. And it's very, very, very rare, especially this variant is very, very, very rare. So w when it come up, I didn't really have a choice but to um, just jump in the deep end and just um, sort of shoot first, ask questions later. So that's what I've done. So um, this video is going to follow us throughout the day um, collecting the new car, it's actually getting serviced at the minute and I'm waiting for a call, should be any minute, well, I was told in the next hour, about an hour and a half ago, that it should be ready and they're going to confirm that it will be ready, so um, we're here, we're on standby, we're waiting and I want to share it with every one of you guys, so um, I'm just going to message the guy and see if you can call me because it's now currently half one they are two and a half hours away and they close at five and that's two and a half hours with no traffic so um fingers crossed hopefully they call soon <sighs> hello hello carl it's andy hi mate you got some good news for me Yes, I have indeed. Um, the service is now complete on your car and it is ready for you whenever you are. Okay, great. Uh, Andy, I'll be with you uh, by 4.30. Yep, that's fine. Perfect. All right, mate. Put the kettle on. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye. Yes. Right, we need to go. We need to go. Hello. James, yes. can you get Stephen up here in the transporter, please? I need yes, to go. Sir. Right, I need to sort my stuff out. I need this. I need this. Um, I need this because in case we have to go and see someone else and we need one of these. Right, let's go. James, I'm going to collect my new car. Don't mention what it is, the camera doesn't know yet. I'll be on my phone if you need me. I'm also in and around the London area if anyone else has got anything to say. All right. You ready, Stephen? Right, let's go. Right. So I'm just about to post on one of my friends, um, Supercars of London, Paul Wallace. He's really good with uh, like, um, like, social media pictures and editing stuff and apps and all that kind of stuff so i've told him i've sent him a picture of a car that we've got in the showroom at conan's egg and i said look blank it out put a question mark over it. i want to post it on instagram just to get people so i'm about to um i'm about to post that picture which is just scribbled out car question mark over it and what have i wrote New car day. The Veyron has been replaced. Full collection video will be going live on our YouTube channel on Monday. Any guesses? Hashtag what will C4RLS be on next? So, um, the, oh, sorry, one second. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I <laughs> used my Instagram post. No, I can't disclose at the minute because I'm actually being filmed. <laughs> Hang on, let me put your loudspeaker. No, I'm being I'm being filmed at the minute. I'm making a video of the collection. I'm on my way down to go and get it. What is it? Come on. I can't disclose. I'll, I'll when I'm oh, off when I'm off shit. when I'm off camera. I'll uh, I'll oh, let you know. Camera. Okay, okay, okay. How? Has it got three wheels? Has it got three wheels? Well, I, I know it's definitely got three. I'm hoping it's got another one. And a spare. And a spare. And a spare. What is it? It's it's very, very special. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you'll love it. Green. Green. 
Is it green? Is is dark entry green? Oh, You're oh, never gonna like it. <laughs> All right, I'll um I'll WhatsApp you now. Good luck. All right, see you, mate. Bye -bye. Bye. I'm getting loads of them calls. So, quick backstory on this car and how it all came around. I wanted to get the guy who I bought it from um, in some somehow incorporated in this video, but some people are very private, which I don't, I understand. Um, so at, where were we? Salon Privé, uh, Blenheim Palace. Bumped into this, a representative of this particular manufacturer and was talking to him about these cars in particular. And along came a very long standing customer and friend of, of mine who has one of these cars. He's had, he's had a couple of them actually. Bearing in mind, they only made, I'm gonna give you a big clue here, they only made four for the UK market. Um, so, he's had, he's had two of them. Um, he's got one, and in the conversation, I just expressed how, you know what, I think that's probably the next car for me. And this was what, well, how long ago was, how long ago was Salon Privé? Stephen? About three weeks, a month ago. Yeah about, yeah, about three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And um, the day after, he called me and he said, you know, I'm, if you're serious about buying a car, if it's the right money, I'd sell, uh, I'd sell mine. Now, what that can mean is if it's the right money for him, not so much the right money for me. Um, but we somehow, so the next day I, um, Jumped in the uh, jumped in the car. You you was with me. I went with Tom. I think. Yeah, I went with uh, uh, one of uh, one of our other guys, Tom. Um, went down to his his home in um, Hertfordshire and seen the car. And we struck a deal late evening. And since then, the car included in the deal was I said, look, you know, it's dual service. You get it serviced, pay for it, get serviced. After having a Veyron for five years and servicing it four times, I've paid my share of service bills. Um, so you get it serviced and you know, let's do it. So it's been there for two weeks getting serviced, but literally 48 hours after we had the conversation of, I want to buy, I nearly said what it was then. I want to buy one of these, um, I had bought one. Um, okay, so we're we're just on the outskirts now of um, outskirts of London, and we are 2.2 .2 miles away, seven minutes. So um, just caught traffic before we're here, and it's like got to get there now. Um, we've got plenty of time; it doesn't close for another hour. But I think they'll probably stay open a bit later if we needed them to. Um, so yeah, I think uh, quite excited. Right guys, so I can't really keep it a secret any longer. As you can see, that's the unit we're going in. And my new Pagani Huayra is in there. So Hello, how are you? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. That's the same colour as mine. I thought that was mine for me. I thought you put a Tempesta pack oh, on it for me. How are you? How are you? Yeah, very good. Please. Good, good. Oh, you got some special cars in here, man. This is the. Oh no. <laughs> oh, mine seems very ordinary compared to some of these. This is going to go on YouTube, um, and. For, for those who, you know, who sees a Pagani around? You just don't see them, Zondas. Yeah, I mean, I think we always have a, a pretty good collection of cars, but even me, when I walk and I stand in here and I see a Tricolore and a, a Factory 760 and Huayra Roadsters and 
I've just had a quick look at that, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so really? I'm. This is just like Aladdin's cave, isn't it? Really it? Is. It's and unbelievable. For me, I mean, I've been here what, nearly three years now, and every morning when I open up, I'm still pictures. You just this. You don't get. You don't Never, see this. Ever get used to it. Ever. And every time you drive one, it's a special occasion. It really Bearing is. in mind, guys, how many Zondas were made in total in the world ever? 140. Uh, 140, 140 Paganis ever. Yeah. That includes all, all variants. Um, why are 100 roasters, 100 coupes? So that's 340 cars ever made. And we have one of one and three, one of one and five. That's one of one. I know what that is and everyone will know what that is, but we're not allowed to film it. That's very special. Um, I mean, this, it's, like, it's incredible just to have them all in one, in one room. I hope your insurance is good. <laughs> we're, we're very well covered, thankfully. Um, Security's very high here as well, of course. Um, no, we're very, very fortunate to look after these cars and the customers put their trust in us. Um, and between us and our sister site out in China, we probably look after a third to a half of the cars. Between the two of them. So well, your, your chairman owns probably 20% of all the cars. A large stake, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, he does love them, absolutely. Time to unveil my new car. Um, give, give us a hand, Andy. Here it is. Wow. Thank you. So this is this is um, one of four UK supplied, one of eight right-hand drive coupes, and. This only applies if you're a bit sad like me. Chassis number 007. 007. 007. Um, so that, um, that for me, um, that was quite cool when I found out that afterwards actually. Um, this is just a, a non-upgrade um, standard Huayra, um, which I've been told is the only one in the UK. It's the only one in the UK that's, that's untouched just talking about Zondas, you know, show me an original Zonda, you can't find them. And it's Dubai red. So for, for those who haven't seen or know too much about um, Pagani, what really got me with the, with the Huayra and even the Zonda, which, which made Pagani such an emphatic name was the quality of, I mean, they're a new company. 2002. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're a new company, which in car terms is 20 years, is absolutely nothing. Um, but the, the way you guys do things, the way you build cars, your engineering, your, the quality of the interior, I mean, it's just, for me, it's absolutely second to none. So let's, this, is, this is the cool bit for me. These doors, I mean, that is, that for me is what gets me more than for this car than the Roadster. If you have a look here, it has all fitted luggage and everything. We're going to take this off the seat so you can see them. Now this car has only done three th three thousand miles, three thousand miles from new. Speakers all in carbon fibre behind the seats. Full carbon fibre everywhere. I mean, just here, here. The steering wheel. I mean, look at the instrument cluster. You just do things that are so different to everybody else. So tell the camera, because you know a lot more than I do, the aerodynamics on this car. This car has flaps at the front and flaps at the rear. Now, it obviously creates downforce going into corners so you can corner the car faster. So you turn to the right, what happens? So if you're turning to the right, you would have one of the flaps come up and one of them would stay down to increase downforce on the corner the corner of the right. Yeah. So if you're going left and you're going right, you want the downforce on that front side. Right. Yeah, yeah. So the flaps will automatically move. Mm -hmm. All four are completely individual, so all four will move. So they can, they can all move when they want to? Whenever they want, completely on their own. They also work as an air brake as well. Yeah, I've so noticed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's open the clamp. As they say, this is where the magic happens. Look at that. 
Talk me through the engine. It's a V12. V12 6 litre, uh, twin turbo. But it's 740 horsepower, yeah, 740. Here is these, we have these luggage compartments and this is all Pagani fitted luggage in here. They go behind the seats. Um, they also go in the doors. I mean, this is just, I mean, it's, 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 it, it is a work of art. It's, 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 it's a piece of art. That does 240 miles an hour. <laughs> if you're brave enough. Yeah, well, not that I will be ever doing that. South Derbyshire authorities. <laughs> Right, um, let's get it out and let's get it on the truck. All right, what I want to show you as well is the key. So the key is actually a small model Fira. Opens up to the key. Lock, unlock. Get two of these, same. Because normally when you buy a really nice car, you get one lovely key, crystal lovely, and the other one's made of plasticine. Um, <laughs> so, this is um this is this is good. This is good. Right. Let's let's get her out. Okay, let's get it out. Right, a couple of things I want to show you here. A couple of things I need to ask you as well, actually. What is this at the top? The 174. So that is engine running out. Alright. I've always wondered what that was. Yep, so a lot of people get that mistaken with mileages on the low mileage cars. Yeah. But yeah, that is engine Well, if anyone asks, just tell them it's 174 miles, that's fine. <laughs> um, so, watch the, uh, watch the clocks. Yeah, which I, I think that's really cool. Everything lights up. Obviously, you see everything at the minute is green. And then, um, Andy, I might need your assistance here. Settings. Oh, here we go. So you can change, you can change it. Whatever color, you see now it's the blue. Oh, there you go. Ah. Oh, mate. So, um, look at all the open works in the gearbox. It's all, it all lights up as well. So obviously when that's at night, this, this goes straight through to the gearbox which is, it's all exposed, There's, that's where the key goes. Top of the key goes in there, like this. And that's that. What do you think, Stephen? That's pretty nice, Carl, pretty nice. I love it. Right, give it a start. Right, let Andy pull it on the truck. You know he's a pro. Thank you very much for, for, for everything. Service went like a dream. Really yeah. Pleased, really pleased, yeah. Everything was fine from our end. Um, stunning car as it always has been uh, backed up by its amazing history as well. Great. Next time you see this, well no not the next well, time you see it because it's just been serviced. So it'll be serviced again mm -hmm. this time next year yep. and it will probably have the same mileage on it. Yep. <laughs> but then I guarantee you the year after it, it will have, have loads double. more. I want loads more. Oh, oh easy. Easy, 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 easy. Mate, thank you very much. You're most thank you. Anytime. We're um, returning in, turning back home. So it's not too late. It's eight o'clock. What time do we leave? One, one-ish, half one. Um, so yeah, time to get it off the off the trailer. Get it in the showroom. Oh, right. So, when you have a boat and you get the champagne and you break the um, champagne over the hull of the boat to christen it and say, 
welcome to the welcome to the world this is my equivalent of that and there we go Okay guys, so here it is. Um, home safe and sound, my Pagani Huayra, which feels great to say. Um, these cars have been on my radar for a long time. Um, I'd have took left-hand drive or right-hand drive, but it's, it's so much sweeter that it's right-hand drive. You know, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to Paganis, you've got to take what you can get. Um, but here she is. I shall, uh, I shall dream about her tonight and I also shall be um, displaying the Pagani on Tuesday at Donington with Supercar Driver. So if you're there, come and see me, come and say hello and uh, have a look at the old girl.